All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kegbot Part Dukes. I've upgraded the system uh, since the uh, last video. Got a new tablet interface, and I'll show you all the new pieces and parts here. Uh, before, I was using the Pi Core system. Users would log in here. They would press this button and scroll to their username. So now we're using the Keg Tab interface, where you can easily scroll through and see what's on tap. Uh, you can beer me, and I'll show you how all that works here in a sec. So we've got other components remaining relatively the same. We've got the Arduino, uh, the kegboard shield which sits on top. Uh, the Arduino is connected through USB to the tablet and the shield is connected through over Ethernet inside the kegerator to the kegboard coaster which is hooked up to the sensors which I'll show you here. So we'll open up the kegerator. It's a little messy. I've got everything kind of pulled up to the top so we can see everything. Uh, things to note are the Ethernet cable going into the kegboard coaster, uh, which is then hooked into the sensors, the Swiss flow sensors sitting in line with the beer. Everything else remains about the same. The kegs, uh, regulator, everything. I, I think I got most of that stuff from Keg Connection. Uh, I've got commercial keg there, Sweetwater IPA. Next thing I want to show is uh, the tablet interface and a quick demo. Uh, so this is the tablet. It's hooked up to uh, actually a TV mount that I got on Amazon. It's nice because you can lift it up when you need to open the keg grater. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need here is a pint glass. And what we can do is scroll to the beer we want to pour. So we'll do some porter and we'll beer me. And we'll pick my, my username and we'll go for a pour one-handed, sort of, and it tracks the ounces that are poured while I pour. I'll go ahead and shut this guy off, and I can click done pouring, and this will log the drinks. The next piece is the front end, which I'll show you now. All right, this is the KegWeb interface. Uh, looks similar to what I showed last video. We've got what's on tap, homebrew porter, Sweetwater IPA, uh, who's been drinking the recent activity. You can click into a keg, check out the stats. So we've got you know the Porter Plus Plus. It's 39 days old, 11 drinking sessions. Um, people tend to drink on Fridays. Uh, the breakdown of the top drinkers, all that kind of good stuff. You can take a look at the sessions over time uh, to click into those and get stats as well uh, system stats overall 101 pints have been poured so far you know it looks like Friday's a pretty good day uh, all kinds of cool stuff so finally I'll mention that this keg web piece or the front end uh, web interface is all running on a multi-use Linux server uh, here at my house running you know this website a few other websites uh, Plex and some other things all right, finally I want to give a big shout out to kegbot.org. Everything you need is here to get started building your kegbot. Uh, all the documentation, forums, everything you need to get started. Uh, really big thanks to them. Everything is free and open source. We've also got the kegbot store. Uh, things you need to hook up your kegerator to the kegbot. The flow meter itself, of course. The Arduino shield, which sits on top of the Arduino. Requires some off soldering experience, but really cool project. Uh, the kegboard, coast, kegboard coaster, which hooks into the sensors, and, and the keg and the Arduino as well. So again, big shout out to kegbot.org. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching.